Hey everyone! Hey. Welcome to Receive Podcast number three hundred and fifty. Look at this! What a surprise! It's, it's a it's a huge milestone. Three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty podcasts. Let's introduce ourselves real fast. So, well, podcast three hundred and fifty. Crazy is it that the four of us are together. I Gus. Mean, it really happens on a podcast. Go ahead. Gavin, Michael, and Bernie. You know, I really miss introducing myself twice. I really don't know why I ever stopped doing that. Why I really did you really stop doing that started. last week? I don't know. It, it's just, it just felt weird. <laughs> but uh, at 350 podcasts, I can't believe it. That's almost seven years worth of podcasts. I didn't think we would get this far. How many? Has it really been that long? Yeah. We're I had to close to your three-decade joke. You made, what, 325 podcasts ago Two decades ago. ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made that joke two decades ago. <laughs> it's sad when jokes become real. But you remember when you put that, <laughs> what? <laughs> It's, it's like comedy and tragedy. Yeah. It's like things I are just, funny and then they become I just real. Thought of and a, then it's I thought of a crying clown when he said that. Do you remember when you put that joke in RVB about Doc updating his blog and then we ended up with journals on the site and we would always update our blogs? Yeah, or like <laughs> if we have to do some joke that's way far forward, it's like it always eventually pays off that way. You know, yeah. like we're, we're coming up now in 15 years as a company. 15 years. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's 15. Oh, it is. Yeah, 15 years. <laughs> well, so is that 15? Math. The passage of time. time. It's right around the corner, man. Mental. Yeah, and we're already, we've already outgrown stage five. Yep. We've, I feel like we just got here. I told you guys, we can't be, my career as a facilities planner is long gone. Just like we, <laughs> we, we moved into Buda, thought we were going to have enough people for that. We were there five, what were we there? No, we were there a little bit, little bit, we were there about three years in Buda. Four, I, well, yeah, somewhere in, around there. In Buda, then we moved to Congress and we were there two years. We moved to the 636, the studio down south. Um, that was, that's where you guys first both started working, was at the studio down south. I barely remember that place. What? <laughs> yeah, you really? Kept, you, kept, you kept true to what you said all those years I'm ago. I'm the same you way. You walked out and you never fucking yeah. went back. You never looked back. <laughs> I'm the same way. Like, the one consistent thing we've kept for a while now is the mural that we have. Yeah. We have up here at stage five. But yeah, we're already got growing stage five. And Dude, remember Achievement Hunter? When everybody, Ryan wasn't even in the office. His little couch? Yeah, he had his, his little couch and everybody was slammed in there and everybody smelled like shit. Like, remember Ryan? Me- Remember well, when we were all friends? <laughs> I'm surprised we're doing the <laughs> podcast together. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. inevitability. I can tell that. I can warn you about that part. <laughs> yeah, what? poor Ryan, man. Who saw that coming? <laughs> <laughs> the crazy thing was, remember we first moved into stage five, uh, Gavin had his own office. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And yeah. then Jack was like, bruh, bruh, bruh. And yeah. eventually, yep, that just went away. I barely even moved into that place. And Gavin yeah. was back in the corner before you knew it. Oh, well. <laughs> Can't help it. Can't be helped. I had an office, too. <laughs> Now I'm fucking back sitting in the I couch. told you, you'd immediately lose your office. <laughs> you you the thought room. you were going to have it for so long. I did. Then back to the conference room. No, nope. you, you get bored in an office. Budget cuts. Get out. Budget cuts. Boot. <laughs> Do you remember Vine? <laughs> Vine. Yeah. Call so I, I think I've got 200 podcasts in a row saying I'm finally going to get off Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> make, another, make another commitment now. I'm going to get off of it. For two decades now, you've been proclaiming it. Yeah. I'm done. I'm off of it. It's over. One of my favorite podcast moments was... When you were explaining the term selfie to us, you like, yeah. have you ever heard of a picture of yourself being referred to as a <laughs> selfie? And we were just like, I have no idea. What? Selfie? Selfie. You're like, that's the stupidest term I've ever heard in my life. And I said, and everybody, because I'd gone down to Australia and everybody in Australia called them selfies. Yeah. But you know what I can't figure out now? What did we call them before that? Pictures. Pictures of yourself. Just photos. Pic- photos of your face. Front face facing. photos. <laughs> Glamour shots. What'd you say? Climber shots? Glamour shots. Glamour shots. Glamour shots. Glamour shots. Glamour shots. Glamour shots. <laughs> and you know what else is weird about that conversation, too, is that if you listen to me, I'm talking about, uh, I was down in Australia, and I met somebody, and they called pictures of yourself a selfie. And do you guys do that? Do you guys call them selfies? Mm-hmm. Like, no. That person was Ashley. Who? At, it was Ashley. Remember <laughs> Ashley? Yeah. So, I don't know why, you bring but that the other up. day, I, 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 I think weird things sometimes. The other day, I was driving down the road. I was driving down uh, 35, and I started thinking... What if a Tyrannosaurus tried to take a selfie of itself? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like what? With those short little arms? I was like, I could never do it. <laughs> like a Tyrannosaurus with a phone trying to take a picture of itself would be like the dumbest thing in the world. Like you just get its chest and like, or like the bottom of its chin and that's it. And you say my and brain's but, weird. And I started but. laughing. Like I'm driving down the car by myself laughing like a lunatic trying to imagine a Tyrannosaurus taking a selfie. I think it'd be funnier even imagine like, because you said you were driving, imagining a Tyrannosaurus's car. The steering wheel would be way up here. You'd have to drive like <laughs> you have could, to have like a bulbed out uh, windshield for its fucking nose. He could probably uh-huh. take dick pics still though. Like, <laughs> yeah, probably. It's a good angle. Put down. I don't know how large dinosaurs were. They were packing. Y- were they? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, cra- you know here's another crazy thing about when we first moved into this office into stage five. I was the only person at the company who had an electric car. 
Yeah. That corner turned fast. Right? Is that right? Yeah. I think so. It was Yeah. yeah. It was me. Yeah. We had a bu- we had a bunch of uh Priuses, but they didn't really count. Yeah, but no, no when, that when, totally didn't count. Once gas hit ten dollars a gallon, all bets were off. It was. I mean it was just like everyone overnight to switch to electric. <laughs> It happens, man. Yeah, Even though yeah. gas is based on electric, right? That's what happens when we draw down our debate now. draw down our presence in the Middle East with our military forces. Mm. So who Thanks, wins? Obama. Who wins planet Earth when uh, all the fuel is done <laughs> next and year? It's, and it's all sun, wind, and water, and all that. Who well, the Navy still. The yeah, Navy. Like, what does that mean? Who wins? Which country is best prepared for that outcome? The Navy's been working mm-hmm. on that program to turn seawater into electricity for a long time, like to fuel their own ships. And if that can get to the point where it's Usable by everybody, then that'll be fucking amazing. Is it windier in spaceships? What's that? Is it windier in the sky? Yes. Yes, it is. So why don't they just put? Here we go. Is really hot. Here we go. It's the thing we always deal with. Where does the cost of making it offset the the, the benefit, energy that yeah. it will create in its lifetime? So you mean like a five yeah, mile to... tall windmill? Yeah. Like how 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 well, what altitude does the jet stream run? Is that like is it above Everest? The jet stream. What's that? How fast is the jet stream? It's uh, a couple hundred miles an hour, isn't it? Just bung a bunch of turbines in it. It'll be brilliant. Well, because it, it's got to be it's got to be a significant speed because it affects air travel. You know, when you're flying east, you go we'll much faster up. than when you go west. Look it up. Check this out. Look it up for the podcast. Your old iPhone. Yep. God, I forgot like, when they were that like tiny. Five. It's like a five. I thought it'd be it's, funny. <laughs> Look at the fucking we, screen no, now. We all used to say how how like they'd reach the perfect size and it'd be stupid. Mm-hmm. And when Samsung started making bigger phones, it was dumb, and everything went that way. It was like the first time Samsung set a trend for Apple, kind of. Bigger Cause, screens? Because when Apple made the iPhone, there was that picture of all the other phones before iPhones and then all the phones mm-hmm. after iPhones. Yeah. It was I re- pretty, pretty heavy <laughs> I went to use my old phone and the battery died. <laughs> 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 all right. That was fun. How did you break that one? What's that? You shut the fuck up. Are you, he's going to bring this story up till the day I die. So, Gavin, when, when we were using iPhones, Gavin would always say, don't put a case on it because he spent, look, they spent so much money. Trying to get as slow as possible. <laughs> and he said, don't put a case on it because it'll make a shit. I go, I'm so sick of fucking breaking phones. I'm going to put a case on my phone. And I even had the case with the credit cards in it. So one time, it might have been, it might have been when we were, we were at the end of the old studio. Yeah, so like right. right. Right at the end. Right in the move. Yeah, because that's when I switched over. I had to buy a, a, a 5S right before the fucking generation ran out. And I was so pissed about it. <laughs> uh, but I was... My case had gotten so fucked up, and then I went to go switch the cases, and when I went to switch the cases, I dropped my phone and shattered it. <laughs> awesome. Did you just, yeah. like, picture Gavin in your head smiling and laughing? How fucking pissed were you? right away. Yeah. You gotta own that shit. I How just texted fucking away. pissed were you? <laughs> Where were pissed. you? Like, what was the environment? Was there anyone around? Were you screaming, or was it, like, silent rage? Yeah, I was, uh, my girlfriend was around, and she was like, you know when you're, like, that mad yeah. rage? I was, she was around and I was like so, like, uh, that she was apologizing. I was like, he, uh, this is just me being a baby. It's Don't, <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. And she's like, oh, I know, but I'm just sorry. Because that's Sometimes, really, dude, really ridiculous. I'll say, like, e- that's even a real life thing, you know? Like, you broke your phone. Oh, I, that's actually going to cost you money. And it, it, it's like, that sucks, whatever. That's what plagues me. Yeah. A two second mistake that's going to cost me 400 yeah, bucks. That sucks. And I get the, you know, girlfriend saying, oh, that's, that's terrible. What fucking drives me nuts is, especially with Lindsay, and she did this a lot when we were first dating, <laughs> I'd be playing video games, and uh, I tend to yell at them. You know, I die, it's like, motherfucker, and then you move on, whatever, I've been doing it my whole life. I'll be playing, and I'm just like, fuck, and, and then she comes in, she's like, I am, I'm, sh- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm like, shut up, I'm fine, <laughs> shut up, and then she's like, Oh, I'm, I'm sorry you died. And it just like makes me feel like more of a fucking loser. I'm just like, get the fuck out of here. It's just like, it's like heckling. It's not like heckling, but it's like, I'm sorry you suck. I'm sorry. And it's like, I, I'll beat it. Just leave me alone. It's weird to hear him yell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. He used to be like, he used to be like a whole angry persona before. Marriage has really mellowed you out. No. Well, how is Mrs. Jones? She's all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't yell fucking scream. <laughs> I don't yell it. I still say it. How's the dog? Dog's all right. How's Taylor? Not named Taylor. I don't know when you're going to drop this. <laughs> you, I Taylor. swear to God, till yeah. the day you die, you're going to refer to that dog as Taylor. It's like when yeah. you refer to your cat as Lloyd. He, he, yeah. tried, to everybody's he tried to get us to name our kid that may or may not be on the way soon, Taylor. I said it's not happening. 
He tried to get the dog. He offered, I don't even remember what, the, it was like two, three years ago. It was almost as old as the, the Taylor Jones joke. I can't remember what you offered at the time, like five or ten five, grand. Five grand. And then uh, dog came around. No, five grand came around. But Gavin just decided to call him Taylor for free. So uh, you did not buy the right to that dog, Gavin. It you did save a lot of money that you way, You got to pay to play, okay? It comes Taylor Jones. It's not Taylor Jones. <laughs> Every fucking time he comes over, hey, comes Taylor Jones. And at this point, <laughs> the, the fucking dog comes running now. Like he knows it's his nickname. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when I was growing up, I grew up across the street from an Argentinian family. And they had Congratulations. A, thanks, dude. They had a Spitz, which is one of those white dogs, all white dogs. And uh, the their dad didn't speak English. And he said, the dog's name was Coley. He said, Coley, buy a casino. And the dog, like, left and went. I go, what'd your dad say to the dog? He said, he told him to go in the kitchen, buy a oh. casino. Is that my saying it right? Yeah. Buy a? C- close enough. I thought yeah. you were saying buy a casino. So. <laughs> casino. Yeah. It, it, uh, go the dog went in the kitchen. I was fucking amazed that the dog could speak Spanish. As a kid, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, your dog. Whoa. Your dog speaks Spanish. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was fucking amazed. Uh, and it took me probably a good 10 minutes hey, to figure out why that would Mother be the case. nature, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yep. Those so animal I, instincts. I looked it up. The jet stream runs at 100 miles an hour. Altitudes are twenty three to thirty nine thousand feet. Okay, how many miles is that? Uh, four to eight, more or less. Can I ask you a question? Get it up there. You looked it up, and my phone died. This reminds me: How is it possible we are an internet company? We're going on. We have three hundred fifty podcasts. We're getting close to fifteen year milestone, which like nobody has hit. How is it possible we still have shitty internet in this office? Because you used to run this all the time, and we still have fucking Everyone shitty internet. Everyone used to be excited when uh, Google Fibo was announced. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no Google shit. Fiber. Remember that? That I think the awesome. 7,000 employees may have something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's too, it's too bad the fucking government broke up Google. Well, they all, it's too bad Google <laughs> only got their fiber product like 12 houses. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a launch, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we'd go, go to somebody's house and use the internet. <laughs> yeah, the internet in my house is still faster than the internet at the fucking You're office. A fucking Remember dickhead. when I was excited about fiber? Yeah. And now I've got wireless fucking 10 gig <clears throat> internet. You got fiberless. Amazing. So after stage five, are we going back to your spare bedroom where the Google fiber that's is? That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's where and we're this going. And it's great. That's where we're going. Does that bedroom still exist somewhere? It's blown yeah. up. That house is there. I go by that house occasionally. Yeah. Do you ever look through the windows and see who's living there? And no. Like, what are you doing? Let me tell you something. You sell a house. You want to be done with those people. Dude, I, I, that's yeah, fucking weird. And I mean, they do it in movies sometimes, but I've seen it in real life, like documentaries or whatever and shit like that. Like there'll be some sort of like... Either like a famous person or maybe there's something like traumatic or something crazy happened. But when people go back to their old houses, yeah, like 10, 20 years later, and they just knock on the door and say, Hey, I used to live here. Can I come can I come in? That's fucking weird. Don't ha- do that. Happens all the time. You don't fucking live there anymore. Fuck off. Yeah. It's so weird. If someone knocked on my door and asked to come into my house, I'd be like, fuck no. Yeah. Who the fuck are right? you? Get the hell out <laughs> yeah. of here. I had a weird thing one time when I first moved in, into my house uh uh downtown where the guy, the guy who built the pool came back and he wanted to measure it because he wanted to build the same kind of pool. And I was like, yeah, hey, I, don't, I don't think so. Like, the, the backyard was a mess, so it was easy for me to push him off. Well, but you didn't let him. What? You didn't let him do it. Nah, because the backyard was never a mess. I made him come who back was later. it? You? Well, what if it, what he if he wanted to take a picture of it for his website or something? Man. You oh. should have done it while he was there. Yeah, I know, right? What? I also, like, the I guy agree. was a little... I don't know. He wasn't driving. Was he talking like, about spaceships or uh, no, anything like that? <laughs> he wasn't talking about building a Anybody spaceship with no or Anybody with no fucking like heads or no bodies? That's the scariest thing about my fucking house, too, is my house. You've been in my house, right? Yeah. So it's got that part in the Piece front. Piece of shit. And then it's got, you know the little step that everybody <laughs> fucking trips on when they go up into the yeah. kitchen? Yeah. That's because the whole house is an extension. The whole house used to be like this little square. Yeah. Like nothing. It was a cabin. And apparently the realtor told me that it was um, the only thing that was out there at the time. It was like one of the first houses that was built out there because it was a hunting cabin. And then the whole neighborhood was developed around it. Um, and then he showed me a picture. He goes, here, here's like the oldest picture house. And it was, the house was built in 1934. Uh, and he showed me the picture for the house. And I was like, cool. And I looked at it. It's a black and white square photo, super thick photo, like old school. And it's like snow on the ground, which never fucking snows in Austin. Back then, though. Yeah. Before global warming. Yeah. It's the house. And the house looks super old and super creepy. And to top it off, there's a fucking kid standing there in front of the house like this. <laughs> oh, I see that picture, I think. <laughs> it's in yeah, my house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're in my room. Go, what, the, what the fuck did you show me this photo? <laughs> it's like, it's kids in my fucking dreams so forever. You think about the house. You're just leasing the house from the kid's ghost. Yeah, well, pretty like, much. It was so, like um, my parents' house um, <laughs> was built in the, in the early 20th century. I think it was like 1910 or something like that. And... 
uh, my mother was on the first aid squad, and they had like you know they had like you said first aid squad, first aid squad. That's what we called. Did they have like uniforms? That's what we called it. What yeah. the hell is a first that's aid what it's squad? Called. When you call nine one one, that's who shows up. At the what? paramedics? Yeah, paramedics. I've never heard. He must squad. talk about this at achievement first hunter. First aid squad. It sounds like something you do in, in Cub yeah, Scouts. Yeah, first aid squad. <laughs> no, like Ooh, EMS recovery position. Okay. EMT <laughs> emergency medical technicians. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Anyway, I thought he said first date squad. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're the people that you know make sure you don't die. Do you have you the recovery position in this country? What? What is that? The when if someone's bullet on the road or something, you might have put them in a position that is. What do you do? Just grab their neck and shake it? Is that is that what you do? <laughs> no. Here's what okay, I do if I find somebody mullered. <laughs> yeah. I clear their airway. That's it. Yeah. But wait, how do you leave them? If, if Say there's uh, three people I don't, on the street. I'm a kind of three they're people supposed on the street. to be laid flat and don't fuck with their neck. No. You open yeah. their, you open no, their you airway. You lie them on their side. I think <laughs> that's, like, I not think for no for, reason. That's for drunk people, Gavin. <laughs> no, it's, it's just the car accident. Let me open his airway. It's the generic recovery position where... This guy's in diabetic coma. Open the airway. You'll better. You might like rest their head on their hand and then like... Put one of their legs like this. <laughs> that's fucking weird. That's not, that's, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. You tickle the asshole. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. I don't know. You're the one making shit up. The fucking the recovery the, position. I love the idea of going down the road and I see a body on the, on the road. It's like, this. <laughs> who's that guy? <laughs> taking a picture. I was like, oh, he's fine. Yeah, he was mullered. Now he's in the recovery <laughs> position. <laughs> Somebody's taking care of that dude. But anyway, there was people Sorry. involved in the in the first aid squad for like 50 years, and it's all like like generation shit. Like my father's father, father was here. Family, so family squad. No, it's kind of how it works. Same thing with fire. Departments. It, it's, it goes to the family first. It's fucking hard to like. Fucking like old school East Coast, dude. Yeah, those are good gigs. Yeah, so <laughs> it's absolutely true. So anyway, <laughs> it's um, very true. Somebody <laughs> comes up to us one day and they're like, "I found this article about your house. It's your address where you live." Like to my mother, and they give it to her, and it's from like 1924 or something for the guy that hung himself in her basement on <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> and like, yeah, and they actually like had they like printed out the newspaper clipping and gave it to us. And my mother, loving ghost stories and shit like that. It's like, that's amazing. And she puts a fucking magnet on it and puts it on the fridge. Ah, like next to your art project. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, at that point, did she like get a dummy and hang it in the basement and like put yeah, the news like, article next to it? Like, this is where it happened. Put a the, sign out front. 50 the cents. Is the beam still there that he hung himself? I don't know. I don't right. know the exact beam. Probably. Oh. It was kind of odd, though, because our basement ceiling is like five brain. feet tall. It's like you five and a half right feet. So so was short pe people, people were shorter back yeah. then. I was annoyed. Let's say the beam was you there. What would that do to you, Gavin? Why'd you, why'd you ask that question? What if the beam was there? Because it's an object that killed someone. Whoa. Was it the, well, the, the rope, rope killed yeah. him, actually. we got to tie the rope to something. Right, but it's still the rope still killed him. Well, we're getting the, the beam didn't strangle him to death. Here. I was annoyed when I went Ooh. back to my old house. Yeah. Do you remember when I did the, uh, the, what, the giant balloon slow-mo yeah. video? Yeah. I stood up, right when I moved, I stood on that spot and took a picture. I was like, oh, this is the last time I'll stand here. <laughs> I went back like three weeks later to get something, and uh, they cut the tree down that I jumped out of. Like the new, the new noise just like obliterated it. So it doesn't look anything the same now. That I wanted, annoyed you? I, good thing you took a photo. Yeah, I wanted to go back there in like 20 so years and do that it. that annoyed you, but you didn't give a shit when we moved out of the, uh, to the old 636 studio. Like, I'm never going back. This is counterintuitive to the Gavin Free methodology. Yeah, it's just cool. It's like a, a spot. It's like Fuck a famous piece of ground. Another inconsistency. You were moving out of there and you... You you were tweeting about it. Is that the word? Tweeting about it at the time. That's the word. You were I forgot it. You were talking about it, and I messaged you and I gave you like a little like, hey, everything's gonna be okay. You I know, thought you were taking the piss. He thought I was taking the piss, and he comes back at me with like, yeah, whatever, pansy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, okay, he's hard. <laughs> Fuck and you. here you are. You actually shit. felt bad. You're, no, fucking, I, you're fucking sentimental about it, no, and no, you no. always say you're never sentimental about that shit. I was just like, oh, I can't, I can't stand by that in 20 years. But no, but you were the, like the lamest little sentence. It was like, a home is a house is only a home <laughs> if you're you know, in it or people, someone, some people crap. still send me like their own like mock-ups of that it's the only fan art I get that's cross-stitch <laughs> it's like oh oh <laughs> Uh, Hanging uh, up in the bathroom for your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> a house just, like, is get only. Get a creepy kid to hold it in front of your house no. and take a black and white photo on TikTok. I put it on the stuff. fridge next to the murder <laughs> report. <laughs> so you, so you're saying you were genuinely serious about that message? You I sent was me. genuinely <laughs> serious I feel about bad it. Now I didn't it's know. probably on that phone Kevin right there. Feels bad years and years later. He should because now I felt now he actually did feel bad. At first <laughs> I thought you were like, ah, pff, get out of here. Okay, loser. So, <laughs> so you did the right thing. Maybe you comforted him so much that. uh he was okay with it. I'm so I'm glad they cut that tree down. Now nobody else can jump out of that tree and it's pop true. a water balloon and get what? What are you up to now? 125 million views. It's yeah. 
That's insane. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got. It's you, not that many. You have more. You have more views on that one video than people watch the Mash finale, which is like the biggest view. What TV about Seinfeld? In history. Uh, Seinfeld wasn't a big deal. Yeah, I think Mash is, has always held the record for the largest. Uh, well, what is it, what was it? It was a captive roughly. audience because back then there was only three network channels, and that was it. There was no cable TV or anything like that, or super cable, or super duper cable, or fiberless cable. My the God. Uh, yeah, so the Mash finale got I think 120 million viewers. Now, there were a lot. There were there were fewer people in the Holy country shit, too. Shit, really? Watching it one time. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You can look it up. That's look at, You crazy. can look it up and see what the Mash finale. And got. all the mm-hmm. filth flooded the market. That's like one third of the population of the country at the time. Maybe mm-hmm. more, more, more than that. More than that. Maybe for more than sure. one third. Of the it was probably close for to sure. half. Yeah, I, mean, I, would pop, say, I would say population's half. what like eight billion now. Eight billion in America, no, <laughs> in the United States. Yeah, in the world. Yeah, eight billion. Yeah. Eight billion in the world. When I was born, it was four point something million. That's crazy. Million, right? billion. What did I say? You said million. Whoops, that was more. How old are you? you know, they <laughs> estimate they estimate at the time of Jesus, like zero A.D. Basically, uh, see? that it was two hundred and fifty million people in the world. Holy shit! Yep. People need to get out. The match finale more. was eighty three point three million. Television I thought it was holes. over a hundred million. That, that, that's what I see here. Okay. Mm. I'm almost million. Boo. Well, I stand corrected. I'm almost eighty three. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, almost. what's gonna you're happen? Almost thirty. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Look at this. You're I'm, fucking t- I'm fucking so twenty-eight. You're, you're you're almost thirty. Your hair's start, finally starting to thin. How, uh, long, how long do you think you're gonna have it for? That's not receding. Oh, yeah, is it? It's it's not nearly as robust. It, no, as but it if used anything, to be. it's fuller than it to was be like fair, last though, week. Even since like you started in your early twenties, you have that big bald spot in the back of your head. So yeah. I feel like that's just gonna get bigger. What do you got? He's got like a bald. His spot. hair got mullered. It's like at the top. Well, it's where it just gets flattened. It's where it gets bald. Is that where you hit your head when you went blind temporarily? No, How I do you sleep right on the back. How do I, I sleep? Bed. <laughs> like face down. I sleep like Superman. Are you fucking one, serious? One arm face down under the pillow like this. That's weird. That's Is that what you do? So how did you get? Weird. How did your hair get mushed down? He whacked Wait, it. So you you sleep with one arm up. Do you have to sleep like in the middle of your bed in order to have room for your arm? No. Well, then, how are you Does not, like, the touching headboard? the headboard or the wall? <laughs> I don't have a headboard. Still yeah. my favorite ga- habit that Gavin has. He says something ridiculous. <laughs> you ask a clarity for Gus, he goes, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> where would you come up with that? Yeah, and I don't know about you, Gus. I put my head on the pillow at the end of the bed, right above my head, the headboard. Yeah, that's, right. that's the way you do and it. My, I don't have a hole for my hand okay. to go through. <laughs> what, is the point, what is the point of a headboard? Well, it's nice. It's fancy. Yeah, but what's the, what does it do? It what separates it do? you from the wall. Bam, there you go. <laughs> wall <laughs> separation, it's important. I guess, yeah. That way if there's a bug crawling on the wall, it doesn't crawl on you. Headboard. It gets on the back of the headboard. Stupid. There really so is not much stupid. point. I mean, what else are you going to do with the bed? The point is headboards are here. You need to accept it and move on I with don't, your life. I don't have okay? one. I don't yeah, need to accept it. I know, it. but you had a mattress on a floor for like five years. So like, who the fuck's going to take furnishing advice from Gavin? I'm going to guess it evolved from the four poster bed. Is that four post? Yeah. Four post bed. Where they had the post going up and a little canopy over the top, and then people couldn't afford that, so they just had to kind of fake it a little bit. They had the headboard, and then it just evolved into what we have today. Was that your guess? That's my guess. That okay. sounds like a good guess. I believe it. I, don't know. I, would, I don't know. It's, it's like uh, ties, isn't it? I, and I realize how creepy it is me saying this, but I would like to sleep in something that's got like a lid on it. Like I'd like to <laughs> coffin. What does that mean? Like a coffin? Like a hyperbaric chamber? What the fuck does that mean? Fuck I realize it. that me saying that's a little creepy. I'm the, when it comes to sleeping, when, I'm the opposite of claustrophobic. I love being just like smushed up. I, I agree with you. Um, what was that, Gus? Like a hyperbaric chamber, like Michael Jackson in the 80s? Something like that. Yeah. Like tube. Like that kind of thing. That'd, yeah. be, that'd be comfortable. Well, what, the, what do they have those things? There's like... Uh, get in there. What are they called? Like those, those things? They have them at the mall. You can get inside them. And Dipping dots. It's like nope, <laughs> nope. No, those go inside you. It's like a I fucking. To... It's like a fucking sleep container. Like you get in and they they close it's it. A pod. Oh. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's, it's, pod. Like the... it's a fucking pod. And it's, it's like no. It's like a, it's it's just to get in and it's like dead silence. It's exactly what you're oh, talking like about. A, oh, like, like a sensory, like, sensory deprivation yeah. chamber. It, it deprives I, you of I, all thirty I, senses. I guess it's like, but it's supposed to Man. be like a relaxing like. Ooh, 8, you're in your mind. I've never I've never hopped in one of those. It's 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 I guess kind of similar to the like the pod hotels in Japan where it's like you get put into a drawer and like shove slid into That's your awesome. room. That's awesome. I told you. That's like a fifth element. They got a yeah. button in there to like get your drawer to open? Do they oh, have that? Or you have to like no, nah, oh, that'd be scary if you hit that I, in your sleep. I got my fill of that <laughs> crawling through attics and crawl spaces. Yeah. And just like, oh, this is I love being smushed in a spot. Except that's filthy and dirty in there. Yeah. I've been in my house, it has a crawl space under the house. 
the whole house is wireless, and wireless is just such shit. It just like doesn't go through walls and stuff like that. What do you but, mean the whole house is wireless? Well, there's no the house isn't wired. <laughs> That's basically the way to say the that. house isn't wired. Like for network. So you don't have electricity or no? I do. How many? <laughs> oh, I'm just how confused. many houses? What you're have, saying just for data. How many oh, houses okay. have Ethernet okay. in them? No, I actually in my house in Butte I built it in, but because I didn't see wireless. Mm, it depends coming. when the house was built. I didn't see wireless coming. Like every new house. You guys deal with wireless, like gaps in your wireless and all that. Uh, like I have a tiny house. So. Yeah, I have a tiny house too. My, my house is that big. Oh. Wi Fi is. Oh, my, my, my access point works fine. Mine's a fucking nightmare. Mm. It's always, uh, I also have you know, one. You, you talked about how your house used to be like one little tiny block. Yeah. My house, you, you've, you've been in my house. You see how tiny it is? Yeah. My house has three foundations. Really? Because it was, it, like you said, it was one room at first, and then they built like another room years later, and then they mm. built another room years after that. So it's like. There's three foundations I have to worry about and how they all interact with Man, each other. People in the like 40s and 50s, when they got a house, it was just like a room with a kitchen in it, basically. Yeah. yeah. And like one fucking receptacle. I even wonder if they were like, wireless. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They were. They were wireless. It's like, here you go. You can plug in your lamp. When, My, when, do, when do you think Wi Fi is going to kill us all? Oh, uh, it, what do you mean? it will. Just There's like cancer and stuff. Yeah. I always say it's like when you, you watch before people, me. When you watch people in the 50s, out. and you saw people in the 50s in the clubs, and they're all smoking, they all knew it was bad. Did they, know? though? I, you, I, they're breathing smoke. You, I mean, everybody knew it was bad. Yeah, but we eat hamburgers. Right, exactly. Yeah, but, exactly. And to be fair, we don't eat hamburgers like this. <coughs> <coughs> if you do it wrong. You know, it's just like, <laughs> and also, every, time somebody burger. Burger. every time somebody eats a hamburger next to you, if they were like, putting whoa, something whoa, in your whoa, mouth. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secondhand burger. Uh, yeah. Secondhand burger causes cancer. It's been proven definitively. <laughs> like you walk into a room, and everyone's, oh. everyone's doing it, and it's like, "Oh, I'm a vegetarian." Bro. <laughs> you gotta pass the log. We got we got our hamburger section and our no hamburger section in the restaurant. Do you think they'll ever put no hamburgers on flights? I th <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same it's level. Just, it's like a burger with a fucking circle and a cross through it. Yeah. This they is the 20 awareness <laughs> no hamburgers on flights. Of smoking the way we have awareness that cell phones and wireless are bad for us. Like, you know it, you know it, yeah. but you're like, it's like ah, well, but it's probably if, okay. If it takes a couple years off your life, does it increase the quality of your life, Absolutely. the years you're alive, in Absolutely. order to offset that, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to live three years less, but the years I'm alive... Fucking awesome. I'll die a couple years earlier when for I, convenience. When I was, absolutely. <laughs> when I was at school, I absolutely believed, because someone told me, that every time you burped, it took three seconds off your life. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what was the line of your back? <laughs> did, did you not have that It was like a... You're never heard so that. Did you, you not have that? No. Did you not grow so up loud. thinking no. that well into your 20s? I didn't. <laughs> yeah, but no. I used to still do it anyway. I was like... We also have gnomes living in our stomach. I mean, it's yeah. Would a long burp let more of your life out? Like if you're like really extended the burp, was it like, oh shit, that yeah, was, that was like a Do people like stand up and they're just like, dude, just stop, up. stop. Go if you see an old dude burp, you're like, dude, what? chill the fuck stop. out. Somebody <laughs> cover his mouth. <laughs> like, Did the burp air back in him? <laughs> a, <laughs> a really long burp would like age you visibly as you were doing it. Like when a rogue <laughs> gets that white streak through a hair and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> You start getting wrinkles on what your if, face. What if like, you wanted to fight it? What if you like burped into a Ziploc and then re-inhaled all of the oh, air. Oh, gross, dude. <laughs> Why is that gross? That's so gross. What do you mean, how is that You're gross? your life back. It's yeah. gross by what you just said. It's, it's grosser if I burp and then you inhale it, oh. which is what happens typically. You know how... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> how do you like that? <laughs> that hamburger I ate the other day? You're smelling it now. Oh, God. That's you the know how... thing I've ever heard. <laughs> you know how honey doesn't spoil? It's like one of the things that doesn't spoil. God, I haven't heard that in years. Can you burp... <laughs> Like, does a burp spoil? Like, if you burped so into burps. a if you burped into a bag, <laughs> yes. like the, the smell the smell bits in the bag would they go bad? Yeah, well, <laughs> that okay? honey's been back there for five years now, right? Well, people something keep, like that. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I, I think a burp like smell, starts off bad. A smell is pieces of little small stuff, right? <laughs> in the yes. air. Go on. So particles. that must go bad. So a burp in a bag must get mold. I mean, try it. Does it get mold? I don't know if it gets mold. You know, I think I did that. Back in uh, 2014. So you burped in, in a bag, and burped, you don't fucking remember if you I did it or not. I burped in a bag in 2014, and I still have it. <laughs> he really? Thinks, he thinks you should, he you should bring it. it in, and we should open it next podcast. You should brought right. it now. It's 350. Yeah, he, he should have. But... I didn't think we were going to randomly talk about it today. <laughs> podcast 351. Next <laughs> week, we're opening a bag that Gavin burped in in 2014. All right, 2014. We're gonna, we're gonna find out definitively whether was, or not burps uh, go bad. It was around the time we moved. It was actually, I think, like the, one of the last things I did in the old building was burp in a bag. <laughs> you burped in a bag. <laughs> See ya, 636. <laughs> and then you left. 
Become the last <laughs> awu. Well, I, I was disappointed a... that I didn't really have much stuff to move, so I moved a, a bag of burp. A bag of burp. <laughs> I had a comment. Put one uh, of those stickers on a it. A story that I don't think we've mentioned. You reminded me earlier, like double. You mentioned something about diabetic, and I see you're wearing that fucking wristband from Evolve. Yeah. Remember the first time <laughs> we played that? Remember Evolve? Yeah. Remember that we played that at? Yeah. Um, I, I can't wait for Evolve Two. What was it? So it was, excited. Uh, we played that at PAX Evolver. East. Did you play the DLC? Uh, Evolved. Shut up, Gavin. <laughs> Sorry. Tell the story. We played that at PAX East last year, but while we were there, two years ago, um, what's 2014, it? wasn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was, was last, year. last year. Yeah, it was last year. Year and a half. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Fucking. Um. It wasn't Pride. God damn Shut it. The fuck up. <laughs> so anyway, at that PAX, uh, you, you know, we had the work. booth and we were signing tons of shit, and uh, Ray was like. To my left, signing stuff. How do you remember stuff. that? I just, just because, let me get to it, okay? It's something <laughs> you fucking remember. Trigger. Okay? So, Ray's to my left, and I just hear, like, a commotion going on about him going, Ooh! Like, he, he's like, I don't want to murder anybody. I'm sorry. I almost murdered a fan. This and that. And I'm just, like, signing a million things and taking pictures. And I don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't know, because we were making tons of videos for people and stuff. And I'm just like, ah, I don't know what the fuck Ray's doing. So... There's like a commotion that goes on, and then a minute later, the kid he was talking to comes over to me, and he's like, hey, can you sign this for me? And he pulls this little clip off his, like, his, like this belt clip, <laughs> and it looked, it was like the size of a beeper, right? And he pulls it off, and he hands it to me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, and I grab it and pull it, and he's like, ugh. And oh. I was like, Whoa. oh, God, it's like a fucking insulin pump, like pump yeah. that regulates it and automatically injects into him. And it's connected to a tube that's fucking plugged into him. Well, the Ray grabbed it and like yanked the kid like oh. fucking scorpion that across the, thing, the table. Like, he was like, over here. That was the thing. Was and fast. the kid literally was like, ah, uh, like, I was like, like, oh, oh, God, no. You think Ray if you had a kid, it. you would warn someone like, don't yeah. pull on this too he hard. Just, this is attached to my body. Like hands it to us. And we're like, oh, yeah, sure. Because everybody, you know. <laughs> like if you don't if you don't take their the people don't take their badges off they're usually wearing them on yeah. like the um the lanyards Lanyard. and they just hand them to you and you kind of pull them towards you so I kind of just pulled it towards me and he's like oh, oh let's connect to me Th thank God you didn't do that prank where you pretend to run away with it yeah oh. <laughs> so then I'm like oh God I'm you signing it spleen. and he's got you know there's really just the front and the back and the top and the bottom are super thin again because it's like a beeper and I'm looking at it so Ray had signed it and I think he, Gavin had signed well, it that at that point Ray signed it first yeah and he. He yanked it to the point where it sprung back and hit him in the stomach. Oh. He was like, Dong. Oh. He was like, oh, it's my, it's my insulin. And I was like, oh, and then he, he passed it to me. I was like, I'm not touching it. You hold it. I'll sign it. And then I was like, Michael, be careful because Michael's after me. Totally missed and all that. And then Michael that. goes, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Totally yanked that kid. I, I'm sorry to his family if he didn't make it past uh, PAX 2014. Yeah, he didn't PAX make it in 2015. But... Uh, so I go to sign it, and there's not a lot of space on it. So I'm just like, again, now I'm scared shitless. Like, okay, I don't want to kill you. So here, and I go to sign. He's like, oh, not on the barcode. Don't sign on the barcode. And I'm just like, oh, and I'm just like throwing it. Like, where am I? What the fuck is this kid thinking? I don't Why know. Why wouldn't he explain this like, ahead of time? Like, I'm just like, he's just like, dude, I'm fucked. If you sign that part, I am fucked. I'm fucked. And I was just like, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right over there. And there you go. Okay. I, why why would you get this thing signed? Okay. This is something know. that's attached to your body. <laughs> yep. If someone touches to the, the wrong part of it, you're fucked. I it's think, like, yo, you're here. Just take this. I can't remember who said it. I think it was Gavin at the time. It was Gavin or Ray. I think it was Gavin. And he's like, this kid's gonna like fucking have a medical alert one day and be in distress and like collapse and someone's gonna find it and think it's like his emergency contact. Like we have to call Michael, Gavin, and but, Ray. And, uh, but before and we they all have hearts on them. Before we call why. them, let's put him in the recovery position. Exactly. <laughs> put his hand under his head. Bend him over. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Michael. I didn't speak to someone named Rage Quit. <laughs> we put Listen, him in the recovery position. Ago. Don't worry. He's gonna be okay. Uh, I, I I'm really sorry, selfish. kid. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm really selfish as well. The reason I didn't want to touch it wasn't because I didn't want to hurt him. It's just because it's kind of gross. <laughs> just didn't want to it's it. a piece of a electronic thing that's outside. Medical of you. equipment. It's, it's not that so gross. gross. Medical thing. Gross. Well, Gus won't sign shoes. I I sign shoes and Gus won't do it. I, I do and not. I would them. totally agree Some that shoes are covered in piss. Sneakers are no, <laughs> not nearly as gross as a piece of plastic that you wear in your belt. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not directly in him. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like he, he was like, like a tube going in him though. Well, what does it go into? I don't I know. I just, it's just I saw the tube like go into his shirt, and I was just like, ooh. Is it like, if it's an insulin regulator, does it like attach to his pancreas? His pancreas or, his or liver? Blood. There's, yeah. I mean, or is it just go? Does it like when, when somebody gets an insulin shot, <laughs> they just do it in their leg or their butt, right? 
Right. They don't go but. into their veins, not intravenous. Uh-huh. Right, but I mean, this obviously is like a level above the injection. Yeah. Yeah, like he was clearly boned. Does it monitor? Like, does it monitor as well? Does it? Yeah. I, does it, is it also actively I, yeah, monitoring? I, 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 yeah, so I think it was like an automatic like injector pump. Yeah, you're right. It probably just goes where in the blood it's just then. like, oh, you suck. <laughs> oh, getting your body's sucking. <laughs> so it'd be cool if someone yanked on your IV bag, just <laughs> like yank like that. that. Happened in that James Bond movie. Oh, oh God, tubes inside you and other people pulling on the other side is not. <laughs> Dude, can you the imagine somebody like nightmare. yanking on a catheter, just like oh. fiddling with the other end? No, no, I can't. Thank you for bringing that up. And that's that's, <laughs> that's the noise I'm making. That's, that's the noise I make while I do it. Man, so uh, I can't believe we've gone this far in the podcast without talking about fucking Star Wars. Yeah. You, they, uh, they just released. Seven. That, they, I think they're going to release that new trailer next week. Because every time, every time we fucking bring it up, we fight Dude, about it's it. It's fucking and we, awesome. And have we, you seen it? Yeah, we fight. We fight with people online about it too. It's just okay. Contentious. You're, no, I don't Gavin's. Care. Not, I don't care. Dude, I it. think it's gonna be good. No, it looks it's, fucking stupid. It's gotta be better than the prequels. There's no way it's gonna be well, worse. Absolutely impossible. Of course, it's gonna be better than the prequels. I know. So I'm happy enough with that. I'm okay seeing an okay Star Wars movie in my lifetime. That's not a total piece of shit. We're gonna get into the casting discussion again. I don't oh know God, let's not even discuss the cast. Yeah, just it's in 20 years, terrible. it's gonna be great. Well, he said he was gonna do all unknowns, right? So mm-hmm. I mean, people shouldn't be all that surprised. And J.J. Abrams did a good you job. You know, besides Star Trek. all the knowns from the I'm Star Wars that are already in it, I'm just gonna wait. And see. That's yeah. it. I'm we'll just gonna see. wait and see. I I we, 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 we have only about a month left, and then we'll we'll find out. Yeah. I bet you're I, secretly in it as an extra. <laughs> you think you I am? Told us. Yeah. You did <laughs> disappear for a couple weeks. <laughs> Play yeah, where'd you go? What's that? Where did you go? I went to Los Angeles to say hello to people. That's was it. Was it JJ Abrams? Did you say hello <laughs> to JJ Abrams? <laughs> no. No comment. That no. guy's got like a monopoly on the star movies. Yeah, he's got all the big franchises. He's pulling them in. <laughs> what other star movies are there? Apart from star and <laughs> Wars. Star That's Man. all of them. <laughs> do what, what more do you need? Star Fox. I loved Star Man when I was star a kid. Star Fox would be awesome. That was like one of my favorite movies you when I was a kid was, uh, was Star Man. I just love the idea of like the alien coming down, looking human, and trying to figure out everything in our world from an outside perspective with no reference so for everything. Any alien movie? No, but it's not it was, really it was, at all. It was, it's not like fucking aliens versus predator where they're like trying to integrate and figure out our society. This wasn't an alien fucking ripping out our necks and bleeding acid onto us. All you need is like <laughs> an alien want. from Aliens with a clipboard going, "Let me figure this out." Wait, hold on. It has <laughs> 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 got like a lab coat on. In the meantime, it's going to work figuring out. Uh, I think Starman and Enemy Mine were like my two favorite uh, alien sci-fi movies. If from you like Starman. And you liked Enemy Mine. I'm gonna go ahead and limb and assume that you also liked The Last Starfighter. Oh, I love The Last Starfighter. There we go, see. But did you like what the fuck was the name of that movie that came out last year? Um Pitch Black. No, the fucking Spider Man Three. No, Chris Pratt and the Oh Guardians, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. I totally yeah. called <laughs> it. I fucking called it. <laughs> the fucking biggest bomb ever. I knew it. I don't, told you. Don't bring it up, please. <laughs> fucking Roman and Jackson Ace all can't the time. Wait. Oh, I'm jerking my girk. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I knew it. Knew it. Fucking, you were right though. Ended the fucking superhero franchise. Not many comic book movies coming out anymore. Mm-mm. You know, well, just I mean, apart from the ones that were already planned. But yeah, the ones that were already planned. But now that World of Warcraft did so well in theaters, that now they're making a bunch of video game movies. They're still too. making X Men movies. What's that? They're still doing X Men yeah. spin. Age of Ultron did well. That's an Avengers movie, though. That's, I mean, that's going to stick around forever. Gavin is disgusted with your yeah. comment. Yeah, again, you say something, I make <laughs> just, a follow-up comment. He, he made a noise and then looked away. There's a... No, I just didn't have anything to... <laughs> when did, when did Destiny come out? at you. Uh, September of last year? Yeah, mm. I'm level 40. <laughs> right now. That, uh... <laughs> they're probably going to announce Destiny 2 this coming E3. No, that's, they're just going to add to it. What are you talking about Destiny 2? They're just adding they're gonna, to the... Well, no, they're, they're, they're going to have they future versions... Really quickly after Halo 4. Future versions that are... No one that is calling it no, Destiny 2. Yeah. Nobody is saying okay, that. Okay, sorry. How Destiny long? the sequel. Hey, between Halo 4 and 5. Yeah. DLC. It's like two you know, years. Where's World of Warcraft 2? I mean... That's pretty that's normal. That's Crusade. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Nobody called it World of Warcraft 2 and then you World of Warcraft 3. So it's expansion. Oh, I'm so sorry. What if they call it Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Jupiter, <laughs> and then it'll be Desta Three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really, Destiny with a three instead yeah. of an E. Like the, Jeez, the, I hate when they do I hate that. When they do I that too. fucking just they did it with so Drive dumb. Threer. Yeah, Remember that's that? what we kept calling it, Drive Threer. Also, like the biggest piece of shit ever. 
There no, was that's one... not true. The next driver was terrible. I'm sorry. It wasn't driver. Drive four. four? What was the? There was the driver, driver game. San Francisco. It was the driver game where you well, possessed you... <laughs> other like drivers of cars. It was you, so you become stupid. lightning and go into like cars. You were like a ghost and like you zoomed. Out, you like flew out of your car and like possessed another it car. It was stupid. It was what? Fucking game driver ever. three yeah. though. Driver. Was... Driver three was top said. because of the replay <laughs> editor. You could actually do keyframes. It might be the most advanced replay. Thing ever. I remember that was a game. They took me to E3. They took me to show that to me when they had that because they thought I think the actual could... game was crap, but yeah. that part of it was just so. They were replayable. big into the machinima thing. I, I'm amazed that there's not more replay customizers. I remember stuff. even Nobody Driver One. Every streams now. I don't think it was as sophisticated as that, but Driver One had a thing where you could watch the thing you just did, which was fuck. I don't remember when that game came out. The '90s, probably like the late mm -hmm. '90s. Driver One. Yeah, just Driver. PS1, and, right? Yeah. And there was like a mode where... Did they call it Drear 1 over? No, it was just called Driver. <laughs> the I was the there one. There was a yeah. mode where it would just be you fleeing and it's just like an onslaught of cops chasing Survival you. Survival mode. Yeah. And the cops were like fucking insane crackheads where they would just like crash into each other and just like fucking tear Grand Theft Auto. It was ridiculous rubber banding. It was Grand Theft Auto on fucking speed. Like you could you could do a replay where you're watching it and you could like slow it down. And I remember I didn't record it. This was like way before capture cards and anything like that as far as, you know, being very commonplace. Um, and so I didn't really record anything. If I wanted to record anything, I would have to hook up my PlayStation to my VCR. Oh, right, and then I'd yeah. put a fucking VHS tape in and just record me playing <laughs> video games. That's how, uh, That's how I did The it. guy made Warthog Jump. He made and, it with uh, VHS. And... You would just be like driving, and you look behind you, and there'd be like six cop cars yeah. in the fucking well, the sky, is, like flipping through the, the air. Is, if just, they were far away from you, they would rub a band straight up to you. And if they were on a hunt, they would you. just be like <laughs> it, through the air. It was the, it was the, it was like having fifty Gavins driving all the <laughs> cop cars. <laughs> it was that, fun. that was the game. It was super fun. Like I like Driver Two. That game looked great. You know, I saw. We, uh, you and I occasionally talk about that old game, Interstate 76. It was yeah. an old, like, vehicular really old. combat game. Yeah. Uh, I read something not that long ago that talked about how, I don't know if you remember, like, the, the cutscenes in that game uh, look like they were in engine. They were, like, the super low poly count uh, characters, like, talking, interacting with each other. Right. So they tried, they, those weren't actually done in engine. Those were rendered that way with the low poly counts to look like the cutscenes were done in engine. <laughs> really? It's like they intentionally made the cutscenes look shittier than they had to to try to make you think that it was all being done in engine when it was just prepackaged. Well, it movies. is pretty jarring when a cutscene goes to fully nice. It happened in Driver. Like the cutscenes look good. Cuz I think Interstate 76 <clears throat> was around Final Fantasy 7 time, wasn't it? Like late 90s, mid 90s, 95, 96. Final Fantasy 7 I think it was 96. Yeah, somewhere around there. Guys, that was the first ago. Final Fantasy game I ever played. That's what that's the game that got me into role playing games. Final Fantasy VII. Hmm. Played that one. Twenty was like years 12, ago. What was the storage? Yeah, ninety six or twenty what years. What was ago. the storage on an N sixty four cartridge? That's a good question. I don't remember because no. it was blocks. I want to say, like, uh, and I want to say it was megabytes, not because it, it wasn't gigabytes. A, a for PS one was oh, CD, right? Well, it wasn't was either. It didn't. Yeah, it was. It was, it was blocks. Well, it was. They just broke it down as blocks. I know, but I I don't know that you could. Find no, out what the fuck it was. Yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I feel like something died and, and yeah. rotted like Where? while we were sitting what here. Happened? Just it smells horrible over here all of a sudden. <laughs> Did like... you shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a boom boom? Yes. I was just thinking though, the other uh, the, before we move on, driver. The best fucking thing about driver, if you ever played the first one, was just listening to all the messages on the answer machine. Because that's where you got your missions. Yeah. But you would only get out of Four or five messages, one would be a mission. And all the other ones were just ridiculous, just like wrong numbers of people just like, oh, I'm looking for my bucket of chicken, so uh, call me back. Were they actually good or were they just really dumb? They, they were dumb, but they were, I mean, it, to be fair, I was like 12, so maybe they're not as good as I remember. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's like it's like the radio station, the like, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> they're entertaining true. for about... A day. What, Laszlo? You don't like Laszlo? No, Chatbox on GTA 3. I can listen to that. Chatterbox, over I had over. that fucking shit oh, Laszlo. memorized. I yeah, really just go. I, dude, go when, when, when GTA, 5, when the GTA way. 5 first came out, Laszlo, you know, Laszlo's made like appearances in, I think, in almost every GTA game from GTA 3 on, mostly on the radio. And they go through the trouble of giving him like a radio voice filter because that's where you're listening to him on the car. Fucking, I wasn't paying attention to the story, so I wasn't really paying attention to like the, the character names. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even realize that there was a mission with Laszlo in GTA V because he sounded so different not on the radio. I thought radio. he sounded identical nah, to the No, he, he totally sounds different. <clears throat> What's it's the just, it's, they just removed the radio. He, uh, he's trying to get with he's your daughter. He's the dude daughter. with the ponytail. Trying to bang your daughter. You tattoo yeah. him on the back. Right. You fuck him so up. We, we're, we're, we, we made a slight mistake. Uh-oh. Final Fantasy VII was on the PlayStation 1. 
Yeah. What PlayStation One memory card was 128 kilobytes, which was 15 blocks of eight kilobytes each. But wow. yeah, how much was the disk storage? Like how there much? Was could, no disk storage. No, I know, but the but, game. How big was uh, it? Was it a CD? It was like right, it was seven, CD, so 700 megs. Right. I said it was, it was yeah. 800 megs because it was a I, only, I only ever CD. saw I only ever saw pre-rendered cutscenes on PlayStation games. I never yeah. saw them on well, N64. Final Fantasy VII was three discs. Final Fantasy VIII oh, really? was four discs, and I think Final Fantasy IX was four discs. Yeah. And now we don't use them. Yeah. Discs. How stupid. God, it was fucking slow. I'm glad. I'm glad we got over that. Yeah. When I was a kid, I could not have foreseen digital delivery as something. Like when I was a kid, you know, I watched things go from like cassette to CD, and I thought, I can't wait to see what comes after CD. You I know just, what comes after CD? Nothing. Yeah. I just yeah, want ones and zeros. Ones and zeros. Yeah. I just want mm. playing games to become as quick as it used to be. Like, yep. <laughs> bing. I think but, it's like that on my one. It's yeah, just, to download it and Yeah, but that's and still nothing about to get into a fucking car and drive into the store. That's that's the thing. That, nobody thinks about that. It's no, like I mean the game will be I wake up the next day after launch and like an hour. It's like an hour in your house. Or it's like it downloads when I'm nap. it downloads when I'm asleep off. five or six times. It's just like it, it updates when I'm asleep and it gets the game when I'm asleep. And yeah. it's like I'm, I wake that's up and it's awesome. ready to go. Yeah. I remember I remember like when I when when probably in the early two thousands, especially they started phasing out a lot of um, like magazines, like video game magazines, because everything was online. You can get all your news online and stuff like what that. What smells? Bernie, like that? What? I don't smell anything. I don't smell. I don't anything. smell. He just keeps anything. making faces. Um, <clears throat> and I remember thinking, I, I get it, but I don't know. I, I kind of like having the magazines. Like it's right like there. a <laughs> Gus is coming to investigate. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> what is, oh it? is it bad? What happened? What is it? Piss? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> smell right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. Oh my god! I know. I know. I'm gonna get it. Hang on, hang on. There is an awful smell over there. It's. Sm it, you're right, Bernie. It smells like something died. Yeah, something's dead. It, it does smell like. I don't smell anything. Like oh, you're dying. A dead rat something's or something right. over something's there. Wrong with you here. Maybe I'm used to. Maybe I'm used to dead animals. I don't smell anything. There is. There Not is that a I killed animals. That I was just a child. I didn't. There, there is a smell of death I don't smell in shit. that area. <laughs> Bernie, I apologize. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm glad this. I'm not is crazy. It, is it this thing? Because I've been. This fucking thing is happening. Now that it's been identified. How long has the set been in oh. storage? The set has been in storage a while. There is may be a dead animal fungus? somewhere in that area. It's old shitty carpet. Yeah, the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think they did a pretty good job of uh, reassembling. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's they dusted well. off the cobwebs. Well, but we still use most of it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, look at some of the shitty stuff back. Yeah. This couch wasn't here last week. It wasn't? Mm. Oh. So. But anyway, go over the, back to the digital download things. I, I kind of felt that way with magazines. Like, oh, I kind of like having them. I like getting one in the mail. And I don't want digital to replace that. And I thought the same thing with games. Where everybody <laughs> was saying, I want digital games. And I'm like, I kind of like owning the disc and having it, and it's like in my collection and all that. The second I like started digital downloading, I'm like, oh fuck that, fuck, <laughs> fuck games. <laughs> yeah. I'll burn all my games. I don't care. And it's like, oh, digital I ran out of room. So much better. I'll just delete it. See, I yeah, was a Steam it's so gamer, much better. and and Steam was like that. It's like I just don't put anything on my hard drive, and it's just like store it in the cloud yep. and then yeah. pull it down. If you need it, download it, install it in a few seconds. I mean, you usually <sighs> play like two, maybe three games at a time anyway. Yeah. No, I you're mean, right. You're right. People don't take into account the time it takes to drive somewhere. Make the trans talk to someone. Yeah, or just make the uh -oh. transaction it's in stock. and then come back. I tell you, I fucking hate <laughs> <laughs> going to like a store. And when the cashier tells me how to use the the POS terminal, like I know how to fucking do this. Slide what? my card. It's telling me to slide my card. You don't are... have to tell me to slide my fucking card. Oh, enter my pin now. Great, thank you. I couldn't read the fucking terminal in front of me. But how many times though have you been to one where you're like, okay, you go to slide your card. Go, oh no, no, don't use that. Give it to me. Those don't work. Yeah, it's like, always like convenience stores, right. I feel like. Uh, yeah, and they don't know. They, it's like, so it is like, it, they're not standardized there still. I like just, the, the phone is still <laughs> the best. <laughs> I, mean, I, had a little, I, had, I was losing three seconds of my life, and I was trying to hold it in my phone. <laughs> I, I saw, to, I saw gray hair. I watched like, it all happen. <laughs> your face looked I was like, like gray lip, hair popped through lip. your beard. <laughs> I still like, I still think the phone is the best way to pay for stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's top. Now, uh, so like a, at it's fast so food easy. restaurants, I don't know if you've seen this yet. I've seen some fast food restaurants roll that out where you pay with their app. Like if you're in the drive thru, you order and then you pay with your app yeah. and you get to the window and they just give it to you. Yeah. Like, well, you could do the that with the Apple Store. It's a digital but. credit card that I have. It's one oh, uh, coin. This is my old wallet. Oh, you, you can have it in there? I don't have it in here. So, <laughs> no. But yeah, get, my, get a digital I, credit card. It is yeah. the greatest thing ever. I've got, a, I've got a coin. I love it. It's great. Yeah. But, but have you ever had any issues with it? Sort of. I mean, I mean, everybody had well. that one issue, but yeah, other than that, it was all good. They got over that real easy, though. Yeah. That was just like a bump in the road. Yeah. <laughs> a little bump. I'm, I'm, just happy, I'm just happy Chip and Pin is coming in. It's, <laughs> it's been 
so long. It, it's. I think they're finally going to... I mean, chip and pin started rolling out, but I think it's like mass ad adoption in the next six months. Nobody's going to use it. Get over it. I'm not using a pin for my credit card. No, I'm not are. doing it. it. Makes me feel like I'm a low-rent person. Do you use a pin person. for your debit card? I, it makes you feel like I'm a low-rent person who uses their debit card. What Americans, does that mean? Americans... Oh, he's like, because signing is flashy, but... Yeah. Wait, but what? Pin means, oh, I'm I'm lower class. No, yeah. You don't ever walk into Brad like, Pitt and you go, can I have your autograph? And he goes, eight. No. <laughs> no what? A, a pin, a pin, a, a, pin a pin proves you have the money to pay for this. A signature's like, I'm good for it, don't worry about it. No, yeah, Debit's like, here's my money, take my money. Nah, I don't understand Debit's that. like, I haven't established myself enough in life to actually Debit's get a real like, credit card. I'm gonna pay cash, but with the convenience of a card. Yeah, no. Debit, Fuck you. Debit card. You're Listen, a piece of shit. You, you, <laughs> you, are you with me, Debit I'm card? I'm with you. Yeah, on the I'm scale is paying cash for stuff, which has like kind of a old school aesthetic the fuck to it. Doesn't matter. Pay cash, then a check is a fucking misery. No, what then there's a, a what else is, have you used a check? Well, a check is, is the way below that. Just so, yeah, I, checks below cash. Yeah, yeah way no below. I, if I am walking up to pay for something at a grocery store and I see a checkbook anywhere, I avoid that line like the plague. Oh, well, let me that. let me say this though. It's like it's like as a kid, kids have access to cash, right? So like I'm talking, about, it's like your scale as an adult. It's cash, check. You have a checking account. Then a debit card, then a credit card. Mm -hmm. That's or, the way or, or I have a checking account. And then it goes back up to cash somehow all. at the top. Yeah, well, it's only for like drugs. When and was the stuff. last time you put? <laughs> yeah, so, when was the last time you put a debit card in an ATM? Uh, I, get, I I pull cash out every now and then. I just use my phone. How? What is that? To get what? money? You get cash from your phone? Yeah, you you're just doing fucking that. Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't trust that shit yet. Well, I, I think it was. It's going to be more common. It, it'll it'll get there, but shit, we're not there yet. Gavin, it's 2015, <laughs> okay, not 2035. <laughs> you are no, it's correct. 15, it's not 2052. That's why you keep getting thrown off. What man. is it? It what? is. Oh, sorry. Why by the way, by the way, why we're coming 2552? Anniversary, just so you know. <laughs> it says it's Monday. <laughs> See, I go, I go crazy on Mondays. Mondays. <laughs> Somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> man, I can't wait for Office Space too. I haven't been the same <laughs> since. Google bought Valve. It's been upsetting me. But I mentioned remember Valve the whole Oculus today. thing in Facebook? I don't even remember it. I got like eight at home. <laughs> 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 Fucking show off. <laughs> I have one in every room. <laughs> <laughs> the VR stands for virtual, <laughs> virtual room. <laughs> so I, mean, I guess I should remind everyone who's watching the uh, live stream right now. We have our Oculus app up. Uh, and you can watch the whole podcast in VR. Yep. Just go to the Oculus App Store Look and download the, the Rooster Teeth Podcast app. Look right. at you the can uh, piece see of Gavin shit you can, on the You can experience the, the smell. <laughs> yeah. No, that's... To be fair, guys, we haven't perfected that yet. That's 4D technology. And when we get the technology from Spy Kids, we can incorporate it in. Now, you saw that movie, didn't you? you didn't you see the premiere of that? The Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Space. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's SpaceX. 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 Book your Sorry. trip to the moon. <laughs> Only use, five thousand dollars. Code Rooster <laughs> to get point one of a percent off your first trip to the moon. <laughs> what were you saying? We good? Something you want to say? Spy Kids. Yeah. Spy Kids. Forty. Oh, you saw it. Isn't it sad about so good? It's sad about Daddy Trejo. <laughs> <laughs> when, that, when that guy died at the end, though, it smelled like this. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. How much for you to rest your face on it for five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I can't smell anything. <laughs> You went down there. You didn't smell it. Michael, something may be wrong with you. Maybe the beer is blocking my head. Go, uh, go down there. Put your nose on the carpet. I literally did that. Exactly. Well, guys, what is it? Am I in trouble over here? Hang on. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's you. I'm maybe. not going to rest no, until he smells it. that just kind of goes like this. <laughs> I'm not going like, to Go and rest. smell it. I'll do it again. Watch. Put your face on it I'll and take it. All right. <laughs> God. You, 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 you brought out the old We're Michael have to call somehow. A sponsor. Maybe it's like a sixth sense kind of thing where you've died Try and you started down here. stinking. Try down here. <laughs> I love that Michael's over How there. How do you not smell that? I, you I are a lunatic. I wouldn't even touch that <laughs> carpet. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared over here. I'm like, si I'm not sitting like this. It's like you've got some kind of bacterial thing going on over there that's going to be on animal, you now. But I spent years at my last job, though, to be fair, like sifting through dead rats and squirrels and I shit. I spent and, years like, filming stuff in slow mo. I still see the world at a normal speed. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. <laughs> this actually makes sense. If you work in a place that smells like shit every single day, after a while, you don't smell it anymore. That's a fact. It's because of the the different smell zones in your nose. Right. Like you, like so you, you're you agreeing burn, with me now. You burn out one smell zone. It's like yeah, I, but that's temporary. When you go like it's like it's when you do a poo. Not. When you do a poo, it smells bad immediately. That's not true and then, at all. And then you get used to the smell. That's not true if at you, all. If you like, if you like, fucking scald your hands, you can get used to hot water, and it'll last forever. Oh, you, yeah, when you poo, you can smell the poo, right? Yes. And then after a while, it's just like, oh, just normal. Right. 
Then you leave the room, and if you come back in, you smell the poo. It's like then. you filled up the quota yeah. of smell, and then it like depletes over time, yeah. and then you can't really smell right. it. What is that? Like, but I it's guess, temporary. It's like it smell is just like an early you alert. You guys system. are babies. It's fine. You I don't know. He might have acclimated to it just sitting where he's sitting. Like it just got it's this true. slow little wax. But he would have smelled it first. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> I haven't smelled anything. I'm just watching you guys crumble before me. Ashley, smell this piece of don't carpet. Do don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't. Stay <laughs> over there. Why the fuck is Ashley here? She just came by to visit. Picking up a check. Is this awkward? For you, or <laughs> look at his face. In the, in the year 2015, we've we've, <laughs> we've, we've come you smell to it over there. You're nowhere near it. I was Shut choking up. on beer. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, we've only got a couple minutes left, and uh, I'm just warning you guys. So 350 that, podcasts. What's your best memory from 350 podcasts? My the, best memory from 350 podcast is probably when we. Shit, I don't know. I have to think about when it. You what shit? about you? When I you would shit say, on a podcast. honestly, the, like the last year and a half to me has just been a blur. Yeah, I barely remember any of it. Yeah, my favorite's the uh, Tequila Podcast mm. for sure. That was awesome. That was fairly early me working here. You, that was like you, right when you got here. That you, was like ten a.m. You well. prefer the Tequila Podcast to the Super Tequila Podcast? Well, you know, I mean, if I was invited to the Super Tequila Podcast, that would you be great. You did say guys. that he was never going to be on the Tequila Podcast. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. Super Tequila. The invention of Super Tequila uh, in late 2014 was revolutionary. It was, yeah. When we finally ran out of agave. I just like the fact that we've done podcasts now in three different locations. It's crazy to think about. No, we've done way more than that. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, well not, I mean, counting, like, lo not counting location locations. podcasts. We've yeah, done like bonus 50. locations. Oh, I'm talking like in three different offices is what I meant. All right, you're, sure. you're, you're correct. You're correct. I but I meant three different offices. Good job. I found, recently I was looking through some old photos, and I found <laughs> photos of our... Our podcast set up when we did a remote <laughs> podcast in my hotel room at San Diego Comic Con one year. I think it was like back in 2009. Was you and was Fitch? It yeah, yeah. We had two mics and like a little mobile preamp. Yeah. Do you remember the, the podcast we did out in the back of that van? The movie <laughs> that, van. that was funny. The movie van. We did not account for the sound problems. The yeah. fucking oh, that echo in that van. You guys moved where we moved from the old studio to five. Right. Yeah. To five. Oh, yeah, studio five. five. Right. Sorry. I think whenever we move next time. We'll actually do them. it while the truck is moving between <laughs> locations. In the back. We'll actually do a true mobile podcast. Should we just That'd have the awesome. back of the van open so you can see the road. Right, you can actually see that we're moving. <laughs> no, use That's a beer bottle to prop it up. Yeah, maybe maybe the van will smell better than this set oh right now. God. We, we, can track the the, the, we can track the, the location in real time. Great. Yeah, and, and but and that set will smell better than the decrepit smell of death. Maybe we'll get sponsored by Febreze or something. <laughs> Febreze. So like maybe is that what happened to Kyle? Did someone murder him? On Man. the set, is that why? Is that is that it's, what it's happened to him? It's a little too him? soon, dude. No yeah. one's no one's it's found not, Kyle yet. Well, he might still be out there. <laughs> I think we found him tonight. You got more. That was a weird. That was a little weird. <laughs> we'll yeah, have to dig it up. All right, fond memories from 350 episodes of the podcast. We dedicate this podcast. to Well, Kyle. guys, his corpse stinks. What do you want me to tell? Good you? to see all of you again. As weird as that was, but it was. This was yeah. pretty. Uh, oh, I touched your this foot. Was pretty that was interesting. Weird. That's not. Hey, nice socks it's though. We'll, we'll you doing the socks thing again? So what will take us to hit 350 more podcasts? What's well, a 700? So fucking so um, seven cyborg years, technology. So that'll be like the end. Seven years. The end of 2022. Oh, I'll be long gone. You well, I, where will you they'll be? They'll definitely be dead. I don't know about you. I don't know. I might not even be in America by then. Yeah. Why not? We don't know if America will be here by then. Where will you go? What do you think you'll do? I'm curious about that. Because this is the second time I've heard you say this like in the last couple of weeks. Where will you go next? What will you do next? Somewhere hot. Beaches. Yeah? You're in, retire. You're in fucking you're retired. Austin. Somewhere retire. hot. There's no beach in Austin. Do you have a retirement goal hot. in place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do? Well, retire is my goal. Well, yeah. thanks to Good global one. warming and rising sea levels, the beach is really close to Austin yeah. now. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just like a 30-minute drive away. How many you Maldives you left from from your in garage? garage? The Maldives? I haven't thought about them in a while. Yeah, because most of them are gone now. Sad. It's like Waterworld. What yep. do you What do you think of flimps? <laughs> what flimps? I uh, listen. I won't ride one until they're <laughs> tested. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I seriously. I mean, I trust technology, but a fucking <laughs> they, a they, flimp. They, well, they they came in hard with those <laughs> flimps. <laughs> they look ridiculous, but they seem really functional. Yeah, you're fucking fast too. I know. That's why I don't want to ride it. <laughs> so there's that shape going that fast. <laughs> I do not want to fucking do it. All right. Well, we should wrap up. So I want to thank everyone for joining us for Podcast 350. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for number 351. And we're going to open the Burt bag next week. Yes. Yeah. All right. I may not be here, but yes. Bye. He'll be riding his flimp. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>